I wanna know what turned you on. Guys, today we have an exclusive. Uh, yeah, check it out, dude. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, seven. plus one, eight parcels to get into today. We went to the P.O. Box, or better yet, I went to the P.O. Box, and you now went to my house and are fitting to witness greatness. Yes, you guys have blessed me once again with a bunch of amazing things, or at least so I presume and assume. So without further ado, we have a subscriber unboxing from your beautiful faces, and I appreciate it, dude. Um, yeah, let's crack into it. All right, so this might be overkill, but getting into the first package, man, of course I have to use Trish at all times, okay? Now, if you guys wanna send me anything for your viewing pleasure to share with the audience or anything of that nature, link in description to my P.O. box. So, wow, this is a banger. Hey, whoever sent me this, I, I wanna personally thank you, all right? Look at these beautiful, artistically framed photographs. Look at that. I like how it kind of cuts off the top of the dozer. So your mind is just wondering like, dude, what's on top of that? Is there a squirrel just perched eating a nut? What, what, it, what is on there? Then look at this beautiful for Paul plant too. Nice and out of focus. You have what appears to be some type of boxwood just creeping onto a doorway. The art is absolutely out of there. And then you have these beautiful buttons right here. Okay. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Impressive. Hey, shout out, <laughs> shout out whoever sent me those. I'm gonna find the most gaudy golden frames and put those in it and hang them somewhere in my house, okay? All right, now this next package is from uh, Susan Mounts, Ocean City, New Jersey. Let me give your street address out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. This appears to be an eBay purchase. So, or maybe they just sealed it up with eBay tape. It might not be. We'll see what's going on. I don't remember buying stuff on eBay, but then again, I don't remember much, okay? Oh yes, beautiful note. Let's get into it, guys. It says, hey Paul, I really wanted to make you a Tommy for your mommy blanket, and I tried. Comma, 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 comma. I really did, dot, dot, dot. I bought the alphabet patterns off Etsy and everything. Okay, hold on, they're about to explain what's in here. So instead of that, I'm just gonna bust this dude down and break it open first, all right? Cause I don't need no spoiler alerts happening in the literature. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to use Trish, but the power of the hoof truly lies within her. All right, so based off the note, this might be a custom blanket it appears all quilted someone had some time on their hands in the rocking chair and uh what do we got here man what do we got here oh! <laughs> tommy for who Yo, mommy bro what come on man yo Look at me, man. I look like a little Tommy Hilfiger, like Eastern Block grandma, baby. USSR status, huh? You heard me, dude. Hey, man, the Eastern Front, I'm holding it down. What's up? All right, anyways, babushka it out. Ahem. This says I bought the alphabet patterns off Etsy and everything, but I could not make them turn out right, so I gave up. A few weeks later, the lady emails me and says, sorry, the patterns were wrong. Here's the update, but then it was over. So here's your unfinished blanket. And again, sorry, maybe the dog will like it. Okay, this person is just absolutely roasting themselves. And I don't like that, okay? I don't like this attitude. This is an amazing blanket. I mean, dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like this could be a, like a cat could have a field day with this. You could have a cat with like hella feral homies and they could spend all day with this blanket. I don't need letters on this. I like it, it's just a huge Tommy flag. This is perfect. perfect. Thank you so much, Susan. You're amazing, and thank you for the jump man as well right there, dude. I'll probably take this to like airports, stadiums, and just like mess with the people in the metal detectors. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. 
And look, I could even put it on a little chain. Huh? Look at that. I, I can go with the shirt. Look at that. Matches made in heaven. Thank you, Susan. You're amazing. And that's why I did not dox you. All right. Now, this next piece is from the homie David Got Kicks. I got to support people that support me. I have to troll people in their comments. And this is the result of my trolling. So, his brand is called Hype Beasts R Us, okay? And uh, he threw in this beautiful www.hypebeastsrus.com card. Little play on Toys R Us, all right? And it appears that David threw in some things for my Crocs. And they have these beautiful metallic small Ziploc bags. It appears like, I don't know, when I see these, I think edibles will come in these, dude. But man, oh man. I have some Crocs and they're all widgeted out. I forget what these things are called, bruh. I really should probably know that. But these have a bunch of little things in them. And Kinky roasted me because I thrift my Crocs, dude. No way I pay full price for the Crocs. But I have a pair of pinks that are blank canvases. David saw them on my story and he was like, bro, what is your problem? It's like just having white canvases hung up on your wall with no acrylic, no oil, no netting. So I had to change that and better yet, he changed it for me. And he threw in all of these custom little croc like widget decor items. You got the Dior. Are you joking me? He threw in the Dallas Cowboys. He knows what's up. He knows what is good. The kiss, dude, are you, dude, what? Look at this. Uh, dude, I'm gonna assume that's Goofy gloved up. That ain't Mickey. The Corona, it's Rona season, okay? And look at that, no branding, no copyright infringement. Guys, there's just so many of these to show off. I'll probably just lay them on a table and do some B-roll. Look, so many amazing pieces. Dumbo, drinks, Scooby-Doo. Are you kidding me, David? I freaking love you, man. You got Bernie Sanders posted up. Dude, these are awesome. So if you guys have some Crocs, which you probably should have because they're hands down the shoe I probably wear the most in this life, in this realm of existence, um, in this parallel universe, then check out Hypebeast RS, man. Amazing, amazing little uh, gadgets to go in your crocodoodle doos. Thank you, David. Okay, now this next piece is from Bobby Fike. All right, my guy, Big Bobby! Big Robert, all right. Let's see what you threw in. Uh-oh, dude, I see the piece already, man. I can't, hold on, man. We're gonna read the note, I can't contain myself. It says, keep up the great thrift work, hashtag thrift guy. Found this and it had your name all over it. And just saying thanks from the Northwest. Give me a follow on the gram to see my finds at Fike Legends. Short, straight to the point, handwritten with love. Bruh, I hate a what? My guy. I hate a I goofy, hate goofy especially. especially. Man, hold up. The Buck Tooth Bandit, Michael Strahan, Gap. I needed this. I, I wasn't sure if the bangs were really working for me, man. But you know what? I can still show off the bangs. I feel like the goofy hats are best rock like backwards because people just see the dangles. They're like, what's going on? And then they go and they see the whole, the whole full, the whole full frontal on the backside, and then it points straight down at the derriere, at you know the rump, the rumple stiltskin. You feel me? So it just a whirlwind of possibilities. Okay, if you want to draw some attention, you've been doing leg day, leg day. Here you have it. Thanks, Bobby Fike. You the man. Oh man. Yes, I saw you on the comments section. This says, oh dude, look at the man. This some paragraphs. Brace yourselves, guys. Hello, Paul. First, just wanna say that I really love your thrift videos and those sound effects are too funny. I've been following you for about two years now and I do thrift myself, not to resell, but to redesign what I find in the bomber jackets. I have a background in graphics and fashion. Anyway, I made a few masks because I could not take it anymore with the ones you have been wearing. <laughs> My bad. It says hand wash these things. I do sell them for everyone. All right, and I donate the money to vets, homeless, animal shelters, essential workers, and schools. Wow. Good on you, that's that's amazing. I love that not only are you creative, but you enjoy planting. Have not checked out your gardening video, but will do. What? Um, stay true to you and enjoy the mask. If you need any more, hit me up. Stay safe, Antonia. Okay, 
Man, I'm sorry, dude. I'm vaccinated and now there's not mask mandates, but I'll swag some of these just for the hell of it, dude. And you never know, with a pandemic around the corner, it's always good to be prepared and precautious. All right, so I think she sent me these a long time ago. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just so irresponsible with going to my P.O. box. Look at this. You got the Sonic mask. And I'm not talking about the fast food joint, okay? Another one, handmade, handcrafted. What's up, dude? Dang it, dang it, why did I open this so late? Oh my God, it's things like these, man. All blacked out, nice. I'm looking like Master, uh, not Splinter, what's that dude's name? Why can't I think of it? Oh my God. Oh my God, I cannot think of the evil guy off of uh, the Ninja Turtles. Oh my God, bro. Shredder! I had to look it up! Oh, I can't believe that. Anyways, we also got the, the Pikachu mask right here, okay. And then uh, get another one, another okay. One. And then another black one. So thank you, man. Yes, wear a mask and guys, you know, I'm no public health expert, but don't fall for these conspiracy theories, man. I trust science. All right, now this next piece, uh, dude, I think I'm gonna order this off eBay because this is fire and there's not a single note in it. Yes, I did buy this off eBay and I sniped it, dude. I sniped it, dude. Eminem, chocolate morsel racing. Got that boy Kyle Bush, no manscaping. Look at the back too. Oh my God, Eminem all over print NASCAR tees are just amazing. Uh, wonderful, delicious chocolate. I don't really eat it or partake in it anymore, but I mean, very cool, colorful, loud. So of course I need it, man. It can go with just about anything. All right, so now I think I am at the end of the road and we have our final box, which is the big end, the big daddy of them all. So we gotta whip out Trish for this dude right here. And we gotta, we gotta really slice and dice into it and see what we behold it. Dang, this thing is like triple quadruple tape. Why you tape this so much, man? Like a Porsche pirate wouldn't even think about stealing this, dude, because they would just get stuck in the tape, man. Okay, guys, we are in the box, finally. And uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to pull this open like this, but there's just a trash bag full of stuff. So <laughs> let's get into this note and then see what's going on. Wow, it says, hello Paul, my name is Brandon. Brandon, I'm from Newfoundland, Canada. I first discovered you a couple years ago, but since then I've watched all your videos and you've inspired me to show my passion for vintage clothes as well. Your finds are crazy, but what's most important to me is how you treat your fans by doing these kind of videos while staying true to yourself. Yeah, my bad, dude. I also take forever in getting to them, but I'm here now, what up? Um, it says, my favorite part since watching your career through YouTube was in one of your videos, you played a new fire song. In other words, Irish music. Once that happened, I was a fan and had to send a parcel. It's up to you what you do with the contents, keep or sell, I just hope you like it. Also, you'll see items for your thrifted room and a print from my friend's tattoo shop, Frontier Tattoo. If you could give me a shout out, that would be much appreciated. Of course, of course, Instagram, at The Rock Vintage. All right, let's get it. First and foremost, oh my God. Banger, straight banger, and the hat was not crushed. Look at the electricity. This looks like if you took like, oh wait, hold on. This kind of matches my fit too. This looks like if you took like a hot Cheeto bag and then you just like, or a Cheeto bag and you electrocuted it. This kind of, bro, it goes with the fit, hold up. Um, also, wow, the leather Nike hat. I'll be looking like a bootleg, extra light skin in Tiger Woods. This is the print from the tattoo shop. It's an owl, man. An owl with the helmet. That's nice, that's real, real nice. And then uh, you got <laughs> Big Daddy Chipmunk, huh? Rudolph of the Chipmunk world, what's up? The nose that glows. Uh, and then, oh wow, the nice little Honda hockey jersey. Bro, I might, I might make my mama rock this. She be whipping Hondas. Yeah, her foreigns. The shirts also smell good too, man. Oh yeah, do they smell like your house? It's like I'm there with you. Okay, you also have this tiny little The Beatles, huh? Like milk crate type of thing. This is cool, <laughs> literally, cool crates. Oh yes, 
for Paul Plan too, man. I can rock this gardening. Siegfried and Roy, tiger encrusted t-shirt. That's what I need. Nice little soft tee right here. Oh, a little Harley Davidson. New school, but still cool. Can feel great on the nips. And then I love all the animal shirts, dude. Like, I just want to make it a point to be the freshest gardener. So on the Paw Plant 2 channel, I'm rocking nothing but animal slash all over print bangers in the garden. Calvin Klein long sleeve. And then last and not least, or at least the last garment in here appears to be the bootleg Tommy for your mommy, huh? The pro line sport. I can rock this in front of my flag and, and that's it. Just, just post up in front of my flag for a day. That'll be nice. Slash blanket. Thank you, Susan. And then I got in a hockey puck and I have some like when the internet goes out of uh, materials to self pleasure with. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate all you guys for sending me stuff. Y'all know what time it is. My PO box is linked in the video description down below. Um, but thank you guys for real for watching, for everyone leaving the comments. I really do appreciate it. You guys always uh, be cracking my eggs, man. And you scramble them too, damn it. Until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream. Everyone who shops on the website, thriftheadvantage.com. Thank you very much. It helps keep the lights on. And we always got cool stuff in stock up on there. Until next time, I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.